Everyone has that favorite teacher they wish they could have again. Well, in Colchester, it is a reality. Here's Joe Carroll with this week's Super Senior to explain. If angels were to descend to St. Michael's College, it might sound like this. The music is down a hallway in a classroom. It's like a blessing, you know, it's, it's heavenly. <laughs> the singers, ranging from 17 to 31, are here because of their teacher. You want to have precision. Constance Price. The precision. Connie, for short, has been training most of them since they were kids in Essex. The group is singing to Shanti Boyle. Happy birthday to you. You want it to be exciting. There's an abundance of excitement for the class. Each winter, it's their musical mecca. This is an orchestra of what? You're an orchestra of voices. Let's wind this ball. Let's wind this ball. It's also a four-hour music marathon. No doubt who's the lead. Does this ever get tiring? Tiring? No. Yeah, yeah. M music is life. I'm tiring. Tiring? Of course not. Joe has to be like, yeah, 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 yeah. The 12 days of Christmas will be performed at the college. It's an annual tradition. Uh, the choir has been, has been um, sustained by students out of my music classroom. Born in Baltimore, educated in Washington, D.C., Connie started teaching music in Hartford, Connecticut. She made the journey to the Green Mountains with her husband, William, who accepted a job here. Connie landed in the Essex school system. That's Tyler Keft on the right of the photo. You know, I sang with Connie for, well, I don't know, continuously since second grade, I guess. I never, you never, you know, she never really let you leave. I met Mrs. Price when I was in first grade and was instantly struck by her presence. Music, music is, um, when you really understand what music does, you know what it is, it's, it's, it's to the soul and it's, it's staring, it keeps you alive. Music keeps you alive. Okay. And how old are you? How old do I appear? <laughs> I'm not going there. <laughs> Man, you shouldn't have asked the question. <laughs> that will remain a mystery, but she's candid about the choir founded by students a generation ago. 13 or 14 kids came through the door and they said, Mrs. Price, we founded the choir. I go, what? I was shocked. <laughs> They named it the Essex Children's Choir. Now as adults, they come together to sing in honor the retired school teacher. But you have expectations. Oh yes, every teacher should have expectations. <laughs> Parents should have expectations. There truly is nothing like working with Connie. In Colchester, Joe Carroll, Channel 3 News.